Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot. Here to do July readings for all the zodiac signs. Yes, they are general readings, still to this day. <laughs> Take what applies, if it applies, you know what to do with the rest. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info is in the box below. You can also go to my website at strengthandwisdom1.webs.com and check out merchandise, pricing, and all that good stuff there. Uh, also, come join me and my great peeps on Wednesday, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, to do a look in on all the zodiac signs and the random reading as well. As well. 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Come join us. All right, this is going to be for my bulls. Taurus, let's see it's popping with you. In July 2020. Oh. Hmm. My Lanta. Mm-hmm. My bulls. It's crazy. You're like a magnet. But what you're attracting, I don't think you want. <laughs> wow. It's like throwing back a fish. <laughs> Let's get into this one, Taurus, at the bottom of, <laughs> of the deck. You've got the three of cups. Now here's rejoicing, celebrating, you know, Come on over, have a you day, me day, barbecue, however it is. Get together with friends you haven't seen for a while. It's a reuniting card. Oh, they all, they're all out to get you, Taurus. Let's, let's get it. We're going to start off with the Page of Cups. Now, here is a heartfelt, sentimental message. It could be an apology. It could be a compliment. It's pretty subtle. And what's crossing the help or hinder, definitely a hindrance here, my bulls, is that you have the Eight of Swords, the self-imposed mind prison you put yourself in. Thinking about something over and over again, you're getting no resolution. And I can see why here, my bulls. You know, throughout this journey, especially this year, me being a Taurus as well, you know, it's like you made great strides, you know, turning bad situations into better situations, you know, however it applies, friendship, partnership, friendship, family, you know, and this has really been a turning year. Don't lose your momentum or sight of your goal here. Because in your foundation, you have the king of swords. Now here's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, or somebody who takes all these properties. He is very direct, precise, focused. The King of Swords is extremely intelligent. Usually they have some sort of status. Doctor, lawyer, CEO, something. They're about the facts, the figures, the numbers. And yes, they can come off a little cold. But they'll, you know, be straight up. Their emotions are in the back seat. And if this is not a person that you're dealing with, Taurus, I think these are the properties that you have to have stick to the facts the figures the numbers do not get emotionally involved because when i say you're a magnet okay whether you go somewhere and they seem to be flocking to you or you run into someone from the past just know where you stand there's a reason why they're your past or part of your past whether it's a situation that you don't want to crop up again my phone. Or this is something that, you know, you already learned your lesson from here, my bulls. Because what's crowning your reading here is now the King of Wands. You get Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, or somebody who takes on these properties. Now, this person's very creative. You know, a go-getter, a mover, a shaker, who gets it done. Also known as Good Time Charlie. 
an in and out energy. And I'm using the steampunk tower deck here. And, you know, all the other kings will be sitting, you know, at their throne. Overlooking the kingdom, right? Why is he not sitting? There's something to hide. Now he's peeringly watching. Watching you, watching me. <laughs> but why not see all of them? And this could be an energy that you're dealing with here, my bulls. You know, somebody could come in hot and heavy. But, I mean, are they being genuine or do they have something to hide? And in your recent past, my bulls. We've been there. We've done that. Three of swords. Heartbreak, despair, disappointment. Broken heart. And that's in the past. Whether it was a combination of two people and yourself. Or just heartache in general. Something difficult. It's behind you. We're moving forward. So don't let something hold you back here, my bulls. Don't let because somebody, you know, says something sentimental or says something that maybe they, they should have said before when they were, you know, blessed with your presence. Don't let it get you here. Come too far, my bulls. Come too far. We didn't get this far to get this far. Because going into the future, there's them threes. Confirmation. You get the three of wands here. Now this is a success card. Ships coming in here, my bulls. You made the right decision. You made the right action. And here's your cargo. Here's your ships. They now want to come back? They now have something nice to say? Why couldn't they say something before? Hmm. It's because you're going places. Taurus, you're going places. You're moving. You're moving. You're shifting things. You're strong. You're powerful. You're not that same person. And never will be again. You want better for yourself and you're made better for yourself. Now everyone's like, whoa. Whoa. And how the situation sees you, <laughs> sees you as a knight of wands. What did I tell you? Go and get it done. Again, fire energy. But a messenger to take a course of action, to move, to put something in action. The ball rolling. Taurus, you're not staying in one place. You got things to do. <laughs> Maybe people to see. <laughs> but you're not slowing down for anyone. You're definitely not slowing down for this. And for some of my Tauruses, if this is, you know, your driving force... To bring positive out of a negative. You'll get that done. Be smart about this. My bulls. Somebody could be coming around and saying the things that you wanted to hear then. Doesn't mean they're true. Because in your environment, you have the four of swords. Taurus, and this is about taking a pause, a breath, a step back. Reprioritizing, re-strategizing, making a plan, making a plan B. Being strategic, I just heard. Because I do believe, my bulls, if people are coming around, it's not that you're not attractive. Of course you are. Always have been. But I feel like there might be underlying scheme here. Yeah. It's almost like, you know, they come off as being the person that you wanted them to be or remember them by, but I don't think that's the thing here, Taurus. Because in your hopes and in your fears, you're agonizing over it. Nine of Swords. You know, sleepless nights. Anxiety. Don't do that to yourself, Taurus. Don't, you know, get all bunched up in your head. 
because they come back around again. Remember, you're not that person anymore. You walk better, you've done better, you're moving, and you're moving in the right direction. Of course they're going to be looking at you. Absolutely. My bulls, even if you are, you know, celebrating, you know, doing whatever, gathering, and these people are there. <laughs> Couldn't help but notice. Get justice. Can we deal with the Libra right on this? This is something gets rectified. Something gets justified. Something gets made fair. Either in the court system or karmically. I feel this is karmically. Because, Taurus, like I said, you didn't come this far just to come this far. You've been a steam train in making things work and shaking and moving things. Improving yourself in your life. And I believe that that's an attraction for everyone to see, even people from your past. You know, maybe the naysayers now are not so negative, not so naysaying, just saying. <laughs> and this might even get you to be like, what? what? Nobody paid any attention to me before. Why now? Why now? And then you really start thinking about it. Especially if they come back, you know, and start giving you compliments and accolade. Remember, my bulls, you're not that person. That person's in the past, too. That's a memory. You are fresh out of the egg. A brand new you. Freshly hatched. And far be it from you not to get the things that you want. You deserve them. You worked hard for them. Let them look. Let them look. They can get in the crowd. They can get in the audience with everyone else, my bulls. Because your outcome card is a two of wands. Now, here, they hold the world in their hands. This brand new course of action, because you're moving, you're shaking, you're making things happen. You're not sitting around waiting for it to come to you. You're going to it and catching up to it quickly. It's almost like they're on a balcony, right? Let them look. Let them cheer you on. Because you've taken that course of action to turn things around. And it would be justified by the universe, Taurus, that this time it's not you looking and giving them props. The tables have turned. That's justice. So that's what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I will see everybody back here real soon. Take care.